Hi, this is Gary Rogers. I'm here with my friend William McKissick, and he recently shared his story on Check Your Game, and I just wanted to ask him a little bit about his experience with Check Your Game. So, first of all, William, thanks for uh, you know offering to share some things, and just just real quick, what what were your thoughts when you first met me, and you know we got to know each other, and then I was asking you like, hey, would you be interested in Check Your Game, and just tell other people what your experience has been from the beginning, whatever you want to share. just Yeah, I mean, w when you asked me to share a story, I was like, I don't have a story. That was the first thought that came into my head, and I'm sure a lot of people think like that, but once I really sat down and thought, you know what, what was my journey like to come to the United States? Actually, I do have a story, um, and it's actually quite motivating. So the, the point for me of Check Your Game is that share your story. If you've had some downfalls and upfalls and ups and downs in your life, share those stories because that motivates other people. And that's why I did it. And, and thank you, Gary, for giving me the opportunity to share my story because I like to think that what I did can help motivate other people to do better for themselves. Yeah, so William, you said after you went back and you read your story, you were kind of thinking like, did that like give you some confidence? Some, like, did that give you a new perspective? Or like, like tell us about that when you went back and read it. Yeah, that was the, the weird thing, the kind of like cathartic effect is that when, when I was editing it myself, when I was reading my own story, I was like, wow, that's actually quite an inspiring story. Um, and I was like, I'm, this is me, I'm talking about myself. So um, we've all got some story to share. We've all had some ups and downs in our lives. And um, reading your own story back to yourself will maybe even motivate you from there, let alone reading other people's stories to motivate you. Yeah, and so another question I would have, and I always tell people that, you know, it's, I think it's important to serve, to give back to others. What do you think about having your story be able to impact positively others and just knowing that you're helping others who may feel like they're in a similar place? Does that make you feel good? Yeah, absolutely, because we all like to feel that we're not in the boat alone, um, and that's what sharing your story does. Um, it, it let me see that, that I have a story to share, but also that other people can benefit from that. And I benefit from their stories as well, because it means that people have gone through some stuff, um, the ups and downs in life, and it's really good to share it. It's a healthy thing to share your story, write your story down, but it's really healthy to help people understand that, that it's not perfect. If you look at any successful person, they've got so many bumps in the road, um, and that just gives you confidence to know that your bumps in the road are no different from anybody else's and sharing your story helps get that message out. And so one last thing is I tell people, we take them through this process, and I like to think that we're helping um, a person who shares their story to help impact others exponentially with some of the things. So one of the things we do is that we, you know, people share comments and we help connect you to other people. Have you experienced that? Have you met some new people? Through um, through this storytelling process so far, yeah, absolutely, um, and it's partly because of well, it's, it's largely because of the story because um, I had somebody else's story that they they'd gone through a lot worse than me, and they said my story inspired them, um, and that's because Gary, you're connecting people that come in and share their story. So it's not just about sharing your story and, and getting confidence from reading other people's stories and helping one another. It's genuine connection. So. If you're a business person or you're just looking to make friends, um, I highly recommend you share your story with Check Your Game um, because you'll make new friends and you make good business connections as well because Gary is a fantastic connector. I highly recommend you get to know him. Oh yeah, I paid William to say that by the way. No, I'm just, I'm just No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the last thing I would say is a part of our process is we ask people to nominate two people and I like to say you would want to nominate somebody who you probably know pretty good. You've got a relationship with them. And, and I use this acronym that um, spell, it spells out team. It's if you want to thank somebody, encourage somebody, acknowledge somebody, or memorialize somebody, I ask people like yourself to nominate those two people. And this is where I think you're able to impact exponentially because we then ask them to share their story and to go through the same process of nominating. What were your thoughts about this part of the process? And you just started this. We actually haven't told your two nominees yet, but you have officially nominated them, but share a little bit about what that was like. Yeah, I feel that if I've got a story to tell, I know some really interesting people. Um, I've talked to them a little bit about what you do, and I feel that 
there's some fun people in, in life, there's some crazy people in life, and um, your friends, have them share their story. So that was my perspective on it. It's like, I know a couple of people that they've got fantastic stories to share. People should learn from them and listen to what they did to have the ups and downs to where they got to. So yeah, it's, a, it's about helping people share their story more than just myself, but other people as well, because they've got interesting stories to tell. And then the very last thing is, people always ask me when I'm going to networking events or they say, what do you do? They say, well, well, how do you make money? I don't know why everybody asks me how I make money, but I tell everybody it's free. It's free, to, is that right? It's free to share your story, is that right? Absolutely, I haven't spent a single penny doing this. And then, and then when you nominate somebody, is that free too? Absolutely, everything's free. Everything's free, and the only thing I have is I have a place. If somebody wants to contribute on their own based off of what they experience, that's they're able to do so. But what you're saying is it's all free. Yeah, there's no obligation to spend any money whatsoever. So, hey, thank you, uh, William, for sharing, and um, just thank you for your story and contributing and nominating a couple people, and uh, just wanted other people to hear um, from somebody, a real person. Thank you. You're welcome.